Dave. Jimmy Butler added 18, seven and six in the heat win. Here he is. Another all for one kind of effort. Bam gets two early fouls. No problem. We got your back. You pick it up. Duncan picks it up. Everyone else is. Is this a continuation of what we heard during the season and everything else is sort of all for one. We got a guy's back if there is early foul trouble or if he's not on top of his game. Of course. I don't think there's one guy that you can just key in on on the team. We got so many guys that can do so many things well. And um, I think I speak to everybody when I say that we're all happy for Duncan. Um, He did what he's always done for us all year. And we know that he's going to continually do that. He's a huge part of what we're trying to do. Bam as well. But Bam stayed positive, got back in the game, and still affected the game like a winner does. Are you, are you out there trying to do your Duncan Robinson imitation or these threes all of a sudden are flowing for you? Is that because of extra work, just because the shots are going? What's the difference? Um, this is the time to, to really hoop. I think this is when I play at my best, to tell you the truth. Um, and I'm just willing to do whatever it takes to win. And right now it's making a couple shots. In the next game, it could be um, making a couple great passes without turning the ball over like I was doing tonight. Uh, next question, Brandon Tobin. Yeah, hey, Jimmy, uh, people tried to make this matchup personal before the series started. You said that was dead. How have you liked the uh, business approach you guys have had these first couple of games? Uh, I love it. We realize, you know, coming into this bubble that we have a job to do and we can do something special because we really don't give a damn what anybody thinks anyways. Um, nobody's in the trenches like we're in the trenches. Um, we like when everybody's against us anyways. So as long as we keep playing basketball the right way, fighting and being um, the dogs that we are, we'll come out on top. Next question, Nick Fidel. Jimmy, you were obviously a late round pick. Duncan carved out his own path after not really being on the radar the last couple of years. I'm curious, as someone who has made it to the top of the league, how you think so many guys now can still fall through the cracks and a team like the Heat can can pick that up? I don't know. Um, you know, some people look for youth, um, experience. I, it ain't my job to do all of that, but I know that the Miami Heat look for those diamonds in the rough, guys with that grit, a dog, underdog mentality, all of that. But we got a roster full of them. I, I love going to war with these guys. They play so hard. We play for one another. And I think that's the reason that we've been successful all year long. Next question, Taylor Rooks. I mean, so you have been playing great basketball. You seem to be having fun out there. You're winning. What is it about the Miami Heat specifically that has allowed you to thrive at this level? It's to be me. Um, you get to cuss people out when they're not doing their job. You're going to cuss me out whenever I'm not doing mine. Um, and we don't take nothing personal. You know, it's on to the next play because everybody knows that whenever I say something, I, I mean well. It may not come out the right way, but I mean well. And it goes that way across the board. Um, you don't skip over people to get a message. You go right to them. And I think here, um, that's how they want it. We thrive like that. Um, we play great basketball. Thanks. Next question, David Ramil. Jimmy, you've had two games to kind of take a look back at uh, what you've done well. You mentioned turnovers on a personal perspective, but as a team, what kind of adjustments do you think you need to make moving forward to continue playing at an even higher level? Um, at least we've been starting out games slow. I think we got to come in with a lot more energy. We got to create our own energy. You know, there's no fans out there. But uh, I think, you know, from the second quarter on, we really picked it up. We started moving the ball the right way. I finally stopped turning the ball over. And um, I think whenever I do that, it makes it easier for everybody else to do it. So if I can keep my turnovers down, we'll, we'll probably uh, take the lead up a little bit more. Is the fan thing really a problem, like not having that kind of energy in the arena? We don't feed off of that. We can bring our own energy here. You know, the heat culture is the heat way. We don't get involved in everybody like that. Uh, but we just, you know, we go out there and compete with people in the gym, without people in the gym here in Miami. That's how we do things. Next question, Shannon Irish. Hey, Jimmy. We t- uh, spoke to Goran, and he said that um, he gave you a little uh, light CPR when you were on the ground to help bring up your energy. Um, what is it about you guys? Uh, Goran. Goran said Gorn. you a little CPR, yes. Oh, Goran. When you were on the ground, um, and he was laughing when he said it. But... What is it about you, your relationship with him and how much fun you guys have when you're playing together? 
Uh, man, that's that's my guy, one of my all-time favorite teammates. Um, I don't know. We just we just connect. You know, we love the game of football, aka soccer. I think I'm half Slovenian. Um, all of this stuff works out for the better. Um, we enjoy Michelob's together. So I mean, that's that's just my guy. I, he's just a, a great human being. He does whatever it takes to win. Whether it's coming off the bench when he knows that he's a starter, he knows that he's an all-star or starting like he's doing right now. Um, and he's just so smart, and he, he'll do anything, absolutely anything for anybody. But more than anything, he's, he's a proven winner. Next question, Lucas. Go ahead. Hi, Jimmy. I'm Lucas from Café Belgrado, Brazil. I have two quick questions. First, when you signed it with the Heat, did you know that you would be contenders right away? And the second is, why do you like Brazil so much? Um, obrigado. And, uh, yeah, I thought we were going to be contenders. I know that we have a lot of guys on this roster that have something to prove, a.k.a. underdogs. And we just play hard. We just fight. We never give up. That's huge. Um, and as far as my love from Brazil, Greatest soccer player of all time he is from Brazil, Mr. Jr. That's my guy, and um, that's basically where it all started. So he's the goat. If in the win the Champions League final on Sunday, I will be locked in because we don't play. Um, but uh, yeah, that's why. Next question, Ferdinand Rivera. Hey Jimmy, um, Miami stands out for the development of young players. How have you seen the change of the rookies from day one to today? There is no change. Honestly, these guys play with so much confidence. Um, they're not afraid to take big shots. Um, you know, they got a, a short-term memory. Make or miss, it's, it's always on to the next play. And um, their energy is always at an all-time high. Like, you, you, you love that about young players because they never get discouraged. We're pumping constant confidence. Well, we may or may not get back to that, but for now, here's Goran Dragic with 20 points and six assists in the game. It's been great. Is there anything tangibly you, you see him do different during playoff time, like, I don't know, during practice or in between games or even on I the mean, court? He's, he's definitely more focused, focused, and, um, you know, he's doing everything in his power to be prepared for the game. He studied, he's studying the game. He's doing recovery. So you can see, I mean, he's flying uh, up and down you know, on the floor and making great plays for us. And, uh, you know, he's our leader. Next question, Shannon Irish. Hi, Goran, me again. Um, can you tell me about the bench support that you guys received tonight? It was really apparent on TV to hear um, everyone cheering. Why is it so important for you guys to stay in the game for each other, whether you're on the bench or on the floor, and just that support that you give each other? It's really important, you know, the guys are encouraging us, uh, encourage us, and especially, you know, when you're on the floor, you, uh, you don't see the same game as they do. So they give us a lot of uh, good advices and how to play the game. And, you know, for example, for me, the first half, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't shoot the ball well and, you know, solo, KO, and all those guys doing my ear, keep, keep, you know, keep doing your job. Uh, sooner or later, it's gonna fall in. So, you know, just, just a good teammate. Next question, Manny Navarro. Hey, Goran, we we saw that uh, little funny moment when you were giving Jimmy the uh, CPR there at the end. Uh, can you talk about that and maybe just how much fun you guys are having? You had a few moments where you hit some shots and you really celebrated. How much fun have these first two games been? Yeah. Uh, you know, me and Jimmy, we have great chemistry. Uh, I mean, as a team, we have great chemistry. And, you know, one of our emphasis before the playoffs was, um, you know, enjoy the game. Enjoy it. Have, you know, have that smile on your face. And uh, that's what I love to do. You know, I saw Jimmy was really tired. I give him a little bit of CPR, you know, try to give us some energy. And, uh, you know, just try to be me. Yeah. Thank you. Next question, David Wilson. Hey, Ron. Um, it's obviously no secret that you guys have been a great three-point shooting team all year. But, you know, today, fifth, I think above 50% for the game, obviously, Duncan. Um, and just how much of an advantage do you guys feel like that is for you guys' playoff time right now that you have, you know, not just a guy like Duncan who can go seven for eight, but, but just uh, everyone yeah, can have. You know, we have a, a solid, deep, deep bench. 
um, we have a uh, you know a lot of shooting. We have a lot of um, you know bam DJ. They put a lot of pressure on the court. Then we have.